This is a Dreamweaver tutorial on how to make a basic website layout from scratch. Uh, this is very easy and I, I just use this as an example website. All the links do work, all linked up to the separate websites. Um, and it will work in background as well and for different things such as the nav bars, different color, the text box, different color, and the actual background itself, different color. So I can show you how to make this. So first off, you're just going to go to File, New. You'll be presented with this page. If not, you'll be one um, just like this page. Just go HTML. Or with File, New, just go HTML, Create. So now we have a blank canvas now. So what I normally use, I use tables quite a lot. This is an easy way to um, make sure that your, your content is lined up perfectly. Um, so we're going to create a table. Now we're going to create three columns, th sorry, three rows, sorry, and one column. We have a table over here. We're selecting it. It's already auto, auto selected. But we want to bump it up to how wide you want your website. I normally do mine 900 because it's in between the default screen ratio, the screen size, which is 1024, which is one of the lower settings that people use today on the internet. It just accommodates for all users, so I normally do 900 so we can fit that in. So now we can see it's fairly wide. Um, for cell padding, I normally go 0, 0, cell space, 0, and 0. So it's actually not going to be shown on the website, the actual cell padding or spacing at all. We're going to align it center, so it's actually centered as a website, not aligned to each one, one of each side. And so now we've got a, a three basic forms pretty much. We have a, a header, a nav bar, and you got your body. Sorry. Sometimes people will include the navbar on the left here. That's that's pretty easy to do. Um, but for now, we're just going to have the navbar underneath the header. So to start this, we're going to just expand some stuff a little bit into the just to make it look like we're actually um to make it look in proper form. So selecting the nav, you can do it that word now. Selecting the nav. We want to make sure down here that the horizontal alignment is set to your left, that the vertical alignment is set to top. What this will do, it will shift everything up to the left hand corner. This is for text as well, this all should be done for the body. So if the body, left, and top, sorry. so now all, all the text will be centered to the. And we want to, for the navbar, like I've done another one, we've put the um, the navbar in separate tables themselves. You can, um, we can do this by going here, and instead of doing um, three columns, three rows, so we do one, one row, three columns, which will give us a basic form, default, center. So now we have our three things. I'm going to do the exact same thing we did last time with the first table, which was take out all the padding. Zero, zero, and zero. It's also very important to not leave those blank because they actually do register as a, um, as you can see, they actually do register as a, um, as a point. So you have to go zero, zero, zero to make it work properly. So as you can see, zero, zero, zero. Um, on the way center this, so for horizontal, on the way center. We go top. Okay, so we'll just type in home in this one. Contact and about. So now we've got our three things. So maybe we want to widen. Selecting that, we can go widen it, which will widen the whole group. Making sure you select it from the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner. If you do it from this side, it won't work. Um, so now we've got a basic layout. We're going to start working on how it's presented and how it's formatted. 
So we want to go to Modify, Page Properties. This brings out the page properties for the whole um, the whole document that you're working on, um, and gives you everything from link colors to text doc to from text backgrounds to text colors and all that stuff like that. Um, so for text color, I normally go black. Text background background color, sorry. Um, go to color keys, which we normally have. I'm almost set to that gray, just for now. And the default font. You can leave it on that. Default normally is sans serif, which is very good for reading. But I normally like the better look of Arial. So, no. sans serif is not good for reading, but it looks better, uh, in my opinion. Serif, which has the um, little things on the end of the uh, each letter, gives it actually allows people to read e easier. It depends on how your audience is set out. If you set out for an audience that may be um, impaired, with uh, visually, it's good to put serif on. So with links, this is all your link colors. So depending on how your color scheme on the website, you might be doing red or whatever link. So just for this, may not suit. I'm gonna do red link. So the link colors will be red when someone visits. Oops, when someone visits a link, oh, it's not working for me. When someone visit links, it will still be the exact same color. When someone rolls it over links, we'll say I make a blue. And when active, so when someone is actually in the process of clicking it, we'll say we'll make it uh, pink. And I like to never underline my things. Just, I just prefer not to underline them. So we can apply that and go OK. 